Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Today, Sarah gets to see James. I do. I do. I do. I do. I can't go away. No, but I'll get some printouts. But I'm going to get baby monitors while Sarah's at the doctor. Ooh, maybe pumpkin spice. Ooh. Okay, so I have a bunch of veggies chopped up. My appointment is at 2.45, so there won't be too much time afterwards before we go to Epcot for me to cook. So I'm going to prep some easy veggie. Like I think I'm going to like kind of make them like right on the pan, like grilled cheese, but just with veggies and some hummus. But I want these veggies to get nice and cooked beforehand. So I'll just put them in the fridge once I'm done. So I got some garlic going. I actually added more garlic than I expected. But I'm going to wait until this is a little fragrant before I throw in the veggies. So in my pot, I have a full onion, a full green pepper, a full tomato, and then probably like four ounces of mushrooms. I'm also going to add some jardinier and some spinach to it once it starts to cook down. Um, for now, I'm just going to stick with salt and pepper. I know that the jardinier will give it some good flavor, so I don't want to like overdo it. Um, but yeah, my plan is kind of to just wing it, but I will let you know exactly what I use. Okay, so the veggies are in and they're bubbling. I did add three spoonfuls of the jardinier just to get that flavor going. I can always add more, um, but I'm going to put the lid on so that the condensation of all the different juices can help get them really nice and cooked before we go. We've got like an hour before we have to go. Also, turn down the heat to low once it gets super, super bubbly because you don't want your veggies to burn or just like cook and have no flavor. I added in the spinach and some chili powder and garlic powder. So I'm also going to put hummus on the bread that we toast these veggies on. Um, so I don't want to like interfere too much with that flavor, but they're really yummy even on their own. I don't even know how much I'll put on each sandwich. Just kind of got to go with the flow. I've actually never made these before. Um, but it smells really good in here. I'm excited about it. And then we have some leftover guacamole from Chipotle. So we're going to eat that with chips as well. So just a yummy but fast dinner before the park. Also, this is way too hot to put in the fridge. So just while we're gone, I'm going to keep it in the oven. Um, and then if we have to heat it up a little bit when we get back, that'll be fine. All right, well, Sarah is going to hang out with James and make sure everything is good. I went to the bank and now I'm at Target to run a quick errand before I head back and wait for her. Um, quick Target, I really don't have, I really don't think it's gonna be one of those where I leave with a million things, but you never know. So, pumpkin spice latte is back, but it's not vegan, but I might just get a normal coffee with the pumpkin flavor and I don't know. Okay, so I am just waiting to see my doctor now. Everything looked good. He was asleep again. Um, we got a couple of profiles, but um, he didn't give us like a good 3D ultrasound, which is what I really wanted. Um, but that's okay. I'm happy he was cozy. His feet were actually like up by his head, like he was folded in half all to one side. Um, everything was like measuring a head. Um, he's four pounds, one ounce and his head was measuring like 34 weeks, which is so funny because we joke about us both having big heads, so not surprised. And I think that's it. He's got to get head down by like 32 weeks, they said. So um, yeah, I'm waiting to hear more from the doctor soon. And yeah, that's that. There it is. Yeah, I wouldn't get that even though it's delicious. I would think I would just get a coffee with pumpkin flavor in it. I just don't know. I have to wait for Sarah. I'm nervous. Got those prenatals, got some vitamin D, got these chips. And now, the baby monitor. I think we're gonna be copycats, just because I've, I've used them and I like them. And we're gonna copy Christina and Grant. And get the Motorola with the Hubble adapter. All right, I'm back in the parking lot waiting for Sarah. She's waiting for the doctor now. But as we've been joking for the past 10 years, this boy's head's gonna be big. 
good. Alrighty, we got our veggies going. I did add some nutritional yeast. We got our bottom pieces of bread toasted. I'm gonna put the veggies on top and then I'm gonna top it with this roasted red pepper hummus and fry them up. A panini press would be very handy right now. It all begins with an accidental overload of balsamic that tastes so good. <laughs> it's met with chipotle guac and red pepper hummus. And it's topped off with some very delicious looking roasted pepper sandwiches. This looks and smells delicious. We're each getting two. Oh, then we're going to Epcot, 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 We're Epcot, listening Epcot, to Epcot, 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 Epcot. History of Nations right now. Ooh. To get ready. Is that one mine because it's the butt of the bread? Yeah. P.S. Peter Burkhardt always eats the butt of the bread. Tattoo. Is that that? That right there. Yeah. Right yeah. Yeah. Right here. So have you decided on getting a pumpkin spice? I'm getting something? getting an iced coffee with pumpkin spice flavor in it. It's not vegan, I don't think, but it's like the smallest amount of dairy. I'm not perfect. All right. Sarah knows me way too well. She, we we're about to leave the apartment. She, Do you want a hat? And I was like, No. I'll just complain about it later. <laughs> we're not even. We're this far in to Epcot. But we want to say thank you for Laura for saying hi. That was yes. really cool. I hope your friend gets. A similar Epcot tattoo. tattoo that I'm planning. And then the Rothstein family. Thank you so much for Thank you for home. stopping, saying hi, and chit chatting with us. Um, you Peter guys are incredible. Run Disney talk. Yeah, I love my Run Disney folk. <laughs> oh, I love a good Spaceship Earth pose Photo. too. <laughs> it's calm, it's serene. This baby's got a big head. I don't know if you told the vlog that. Tomorrow you're 31 weeks. Yes. But our baby boy's head. Is measuring 34. He said it was average though. 34 weeks. He said our baby's long. Like yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> no, you didn't tell. We're really like we've even gotten those comments like when people see us in the park, like you're shorter than I thought you'd be. But, but apparently, we've been, we've been joking since we were in high school that our kids were gonna have massive heads because we have heads. massive heads. But we also joke around that, like I'm the tall one in my family because my family's super short. So he's, they already, said, he's already playing jokes. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be a brook cart project first here. We're going to the temporary but not temporary Starbucks. Ooh. I think that's got more dairy in it than I realized. Oh gosh. I got a peach green tea lemonade sweetened. I wish we could go on the Norway ride. The Maelstrom? Yeah. Yeah. Good one, this is absolutely delicious in divinity and fall in liquid form, even if my stomach will destroy me later. Um, my stomach never hurt after I had that hot ham and cheese thing. Never, I know, but our stomachs are very different. Also, I tried it. I'm sticking my tongue out right now. She hated it. But I want to show you this mug because this mug has been out of stock since the ink and paint series came out. So here's the pool mug. It's good size, basic shape, but it's like that purple color. And when you fill it up, the colors that like come through, like those change into those. It's very cool. It's very cool. Oh, bother, Sarah. Look at this. this is what we always say to each other. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Beard jerseys. Leggings. Hoodie. Wreaths. Okay, but Magic Kingdom, where are your uh, decorations? Your decorations, because I'm a little concerned if you ask me. Oh, wait. It's like the Christmas version. Ooh. I love that. I love that. Beautiful. Well, you know, it's sweet spices and... Bewitching bites. Oh. Here, we're taking a break on this beautiful bench outside of Norway. So, we don't have much plan besides just like soaking it in, but I think it's been about three and a half weeks since we came to the parks last. No, that's crazy. And one of the major things that happened during the three and a half weeks um, was Sarah has gotten to a point of discomfort easier. So our park visits, we're still gonna do them frequently. Yeah. Because we miss it so yeah. hard. 
but they're gonna be much, much more relaxed. I'd rather... We even have something super fun planned for the weekend. Oh, we haven't even told you guys about that yet. Yeah. It's gonna be great. But I'd rather get like a wheelchair or just like literally mosey so slow to this bench and sit here than sit on our couch. Yeah, I, I feel great. It's just like we know our limit. Right, and at 625, we got two and a half hours just to stare at this beautiful slab of land. And all was right in the world when the Disney duck waddled right behind us. Look at how stinking cute this is going into the outpost. Some shade in a show. That was cool. Yeah. A little relaxation here. It's nice and breezy. Maybe we'll sit here for a little bit. Arguably our favorite store in World Showcase, right? You can't see my frown. Here, I'll sneak it. Look at this door. That's close. Tangerine Cafe. We've seen online that's been closed, but I've also seen it like open, close, open, close. I feel like that's the saddest part for us being in the parks. Is like, I actually don't like how empty the park is. I like a busy park. It's so, like that's I freaking like the out. empty park for like feeling safe and feeling yes. like that, but like just it, it doesn't feel like Disney. Like COVID world. aside, it's we yeah. like a bustling. But park. I I don't like even more than that is seeing things like the beer booth at America closed or like this closed. They used nothing to be open. open in the Chinese pavilion. Right, but like I don't like when, but none of that reopened. But like right. this reopened, like they were hopeful, like oh, that's gonna be good, and then it wasn't, so they kept it closed. Yeah. Like, that makes me sad for like the 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 continuing trends of Disney World. Especially in Epcot, when you know there's a lot of outside vendors, and you just hope that they're all okay. Doing okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hold on, just look at this. I had some like weird anxiety about coming back to the park because I missed it so much. But it's also not the same as it used to be, but I'm glad to be here. But it has just turned into a beautiful night and I'm just very appreciative of being able to just like stroll with my wife on this cool evening um, during these times because we are very fortunate. Look at this. See this? See that? And we call him Red a tat tat tat. Tat, tat. Of course the Skyliner is going to slow down. It's like, can't get my picture! <laughs> it's speeding up. Hurry. Get it! I think we just decided that I'm going to get a beer at the UK Pavilion. Oh it's called the, the Uck Building. Uck oh, I messed it up. It's called the Uck Pavilion. Pavilion of Uck. You're such an Instagram star. What's your handle? The what are your tags? Burger. Hashtag, I smell like beef. It's so weird for it to be so black and tan? quiet in here. It's all about the isolation. Look at that black and tan. Ooh. One day I'll pour this. Oh, we should have done that when we were at the Earhart's over the weekend. What? We've learned how to pour it. Ooh, la, la. Here's our next rest stop. We're just chilling over here. But I think windy. it is windy, but it's like a cool windiness. Yeah. So we got some, some marked off tables. Do you want to go here? Right on the wall? Or over here. but it is just it's beautiful it's so nice and it's the sun is down now um a, like, just can't not a you. cool breeze but just like a breeze, a breeze. Yeah. and it's just kind of being able to have our mask off and chill in with our drinks Drink and stuff our drinks yeah it's nice let's stay forever well that was the it's thing it was like I, I saw us doing two laps tonight but this is like sometimes like i feel like that's like my biggest bit of disney vacation tips is like don't hold your expectations to like, so like, like it's right not firm. right because sometimes things like this like this could be like the thing we remember the most for a couple of months of just like remember that night if you miss a fast pass you miss a fast pass yeah 
there are a few sights in the whole world. And I know I haven't traveled the world, and I know I'm going to travel the world someday, but I promise you, even after traveling the world, I will still say, there are a few sights in the world that are as beautiful as this multi-color lit spaceship Earth with a food and wine-esque display right here at the end of an evening. Oh, Evie's all riled up. <laughs> nope. Come on. She's thirsty. Okay, here's where we're at. There's Eve. And there is the other monitor. Not terrible, but not too good. What's today? Today is Tuesday the 25th. It's so close. Oh, it's a long one. This message is by Jackson Kittard. Patience, child. Patience. Remember, life is a journey. If you get, if you got everything you wanted all at once, there would be no point to live in. Enjoy the ride, and in the end, you'll see these setbacks as giant leaps forward. Only you couldn't see the bigger picture in the moment. Remain calm. All's within reach. All you have to do is show up every day, stay true to your path, and you will surely find the treasure you seek. I'm gonna be honest with you, even though it's 12.38, all three of us over here have been asleep since about 10.40. We put on the movie and pretty much fell asleep right after the movie got turned on. But I luckily woke up right as it ended, so we're not, we didn't sleep too much on the couch. So I'm gonna get us all ready for bed. But here's our little boy. When you're watching this, he'll be 31 weeks exactly. It's incredible. But it was a good day. It's great to be, it felt great to be back in Epcot. Um, I actually, to give you a little sneak peek, um, we have, I think the next two days are going to be on Disney property at least. We love you guys. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.